Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Anime Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a character and add bones to it to rig it for animation. Um, first thing we want to do is come over here and click the reset palette to reset any colors that we were using previously. And then come over here to the draw shape tool and click it. And make sure it's on oval. And then hold your shift key on your keyboard and drag a nice round shape. You notice if I don't hold the shift key that I can draw an oval shape so I'll do that right now. And then I'll draw one more oval shape for an arm and then move these into place with using the translate points tool. Click on it and then click in the middle of the shape and bring it into position. Now I'll do a copy and a paste, control C and control V, and then hold the shift key down to constrain it in a nice horizontal line here. And then click on the rotate tool, rotate these arms a little bit, and then go back to the translate points tool and move these pieces into position. And then do a control C and a control V for paste. And do control C and control V for paste again. Hold shift, rotate it, and put these legs into position. Doesn't have to be perfectly rotated to the same degree. Um, you notice if you get way out here, you have more control, finer increment as to being right here. It moves uh, in coarser increments when it gets towards the middle. And then drag these into position and then our shape is complete. Press enter on the keyboard. I'm going to zoom in a little bit by pulling back on the mouse wheel and then press the, the uh, space bar on the keyboard, hold it down and drag with your mouse. Click and drag and you can move your uh, stage around and now I'm going to draw some bones but first I need to make a bone layer so I come down here to the layers palette and click the new button and then select bone click on it and now we want to drag layer one by clicking it and dragging it on top of the bone layer until the bone layer turns red and then drop it on top of it now it's ready to put bones in here but first we have to select the bone layer and take a look at this palette over here as I click on the bone layer. See that now only the bones are highlighted. This means that we're in bone creation mode. So we'll add a bone first and notice that add bone is the letter A on the keyboard and select bone is B. Translate bone. These are good shortcuts to learn and help you to uh, rapidly prototype your skeleton rig as you're drawing. So I'll click on the bone, add bone here, and we'll draw the spine first. Just click and drag down, and then make the hip bones and leg bones. And then press enter on the keyboard, and go back and click on the select bone. Click on the spine again. Now the reason why I'm doing this if I left this one selected and I drew a new bone, it would be parented to this bone right here and it wouldn't work correctly. So we want to select the bone, the spine bone first and attach the arms and the legs. Press enter, go back. Now I'm going to do something here and we'll see the effect of it later. I'm not going to select the spine bone and I'm going to draw this bone and press enter something that uh, happens quite often. Click on the spine again, draw the arm, and then finally I'll draw the um, head bone and have it just stick out a little bit and press enter. Now we can actually move these bones around and see how they affect the points in this little guy's body. So click on here now remember this bone right here isn't attached to the spine but it still looks like it works like it is. 
so we can move this around and as soon as you go back here and click on the select bone it puts your uh, character back to its resting position also let's take a look at uh, what just happened when we selected this manipulate bone you notice these outlines here these outlines are representing how much of this character that they're influencing how much of the points in these vector objects that it's influencing and let's say that we don't want it um, when we move the arm that it moves the head and it's getting into places it shouldn't be so you come over here and click on the bone strength tool and just drag with your mouse move these down a little bit up or down increases or decreases the bone strength and then come back and test it out that looks okay <clears throat> so something I want to talk about is as we've been creating this character we're in creation mode and creation mode is always on frame zero so you can create anything you want around your characters and it won't be animated now there's um, one uh, drawback to this sometimes uh, you might get confused and be on frame zero and want to move your character down here so he's starting on the ground so uh, the way that you could do that is there's a bone here called translate bone tool and if you click on your spine because you want to use click on the spine and move it and all the other bones should follow well if we drag the whole skeleton falls apart and it leaves one behind Let's press control Z so what we want to do is go down here and go to frame one and then you can move your character down now let's look at what's happening to the arm we got a problem here so instead of going back and trying to delete this bone and fix it what we can do is repair it so go back to frame zero and zoom in and what we can do now is press enter to deselect the bones and go back to the select bone tool and click on this bone here this is actually the parent and this is the child just like the spines the parent and these are the children because this is detached so we're going to click on the parent and attach it back to the spine so that you know all the bones that are connected it follow the spine so select your uh, the shoulder bone here and click this bone here the reparent bone looks like a chain link and as soon as you click it you can see these lines here that are showing how these bones are parented and just go ahead and click on the spine and you can see that it's uh, reparented here and zoom out go back to frame one and you see that all the bones came with it so if I drag this around see that all the bones go with our character okay so this concludes uh, the first part of the tutorial in the next one I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with just drawing one single shape and uh, we'll put bones and rig that and do some animating so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye now